highway ramp. The van followed suit without hesitation. Now, this was starting to feel a bit more than just coincidental. I decided to test my theory and made a couple of unexpected turns, but the van stuck to me like glue. Panic set in, and I began to question whether this was a mere random encounter. I pulled into the gas station, my heart pounding, and the van parked nearby. I stayed in my car, unsure of what to do next. After what felt like an eternity, the van's door opened and a figure stepped out. It was a tall man wearing a worn out jacket and a hat pulled low, obscuring most of his face. He started walking towards my car and the adrenaline surged through my veins. I quickly locked the doors and hesitated for a moment, debating whether to confront him or drive away. Before I could make a decision, the man reached my window and tapped on the glass. Reluctantly, I rolled it down a crack, keeping a safe distance. The man explained that he had been driving for hours, feeling drowsy, and noticed I was maintaining a steady speed. He thought sticking behind me would help him stay awake. While his explanation seemed plausible, I couldn't shake off the eerie feeling that something was off. He asked if I knew the way to the nearest town, claiming he got lost after taking a wrong turn. Despite my reservations, I gave him simple directions, and with a nod, he returned to his van and drove off into the night. I waited until his taillights disappeared before I left the gas station, my senses on high alert for the remainder of the journey. A moment's hesitation, the encounter left me shaken, questioning the intentions of those men, and grateful for my instincts that urged me to leave the gas station promptly. As I continued my journey, the vastness of the unpopulated highway felt more ominous than before. The incident served as a stark reminder of the vulnerability one could face on remote roads, especially at night. I couldn't help but wonder how many others had unwittingly fallen victim to a similar ploy. The lack of updates from the police only added to the mystery, leaving me with a lingering sense of unease. The remaining hours of my road trip were accompanied by a heightened awareness of my surroundings. Every pair of headlights in the rearview mirror triggered a moment of paranoia. The open road, once a symbol of freedom, now felt like a potential trap. Upon reaching my destination, I shared the unsettling experience with friends and family, cautioning them about the importance of staying vigilant during solo travels. The story became a cautionary tale, a reminder that danger could lurk even in the most isolated stretches of highway. As the days passed, the memory of the van and its occupants lingered in my mind. I couldn't shake off the chilling thought of what might have transpired if I hadn't trusted my instincts and driven away from that gas station. The open road, while liberating, now carried a new layer of caution, forever altering the way I perceived the solitude of long drives. Arrived, I handed over the pizzas, trying to brush off the oddity of the situation. The man continued to express his gratitude, insisting that he was famished and couldn't wait to dig in. I noticed the lack of any signs or indications that this was a business or even a residence. As he eagerly took the pizzas, he asked if I wanted a tip or something else. It felt strange, but I declined politely, thinking I'd just get back to my car and finish my deliveries for the night. However, as I turned to leave, he called out, asking if I could help him with something inside. Alarm bells rang in my head and I hesitated. Curiosity and a sense of caution warred within me. Against my better judgment, I agreed to step inside briefly. The man led me through a dimly lit corridor 
and the air grew tense. I couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. My instincts were screaming at me to leave, but I pressed on. We entered a small room with minimal furnishings. The man gestured toward a table, inviting me to sit. At this point, every fiber of my being was urging me to make a quick exit, but I couldn't bring myself to offend the seemingly harmless man. As I sat down, he started asking peculiar questions about my life, my routine, and even my delivery route. Red flags multiplied, and I grew increasingly uneasy. It became evident that there was something more sinister at play. Suddenly, the man's demeanor shifted. His friendly smile transformed into a menacing grin. Before I could react, he lunged at me, attempting to grab my arm. Instinct kicked in, and I bolted out of the room, sprinting through the dark corridor. I reached the glass door, yanked it open, and raced to my car. Adrenaline pumping, I sped away from that eerie business center, leaving behind the bizarre encounter. I reported the incident to my manager and the local authorities, but much like the previous incident, there were no concrete updates. This unsettling experience served as a stark reminder that danger can lurk in unexpected places, even during routine tasks. It prompted me to be more vigilant, trusting my instincts and prioritizing personal safety above all else. The mysteries surrounding both encounters remain unresolved, leaving a lingering sense of unease. Trace him through the transaction. The police searched the building thoroughly, but found no evidence of a company party or any gathering on the third floor. It seemed like I had narrowly escaped a potentially dangerous situation. Reflecting on the encounter, I realized that my instincts had once again played a crucial role in keeping me safe. The oddities in the man's behavior, the dark and deserted stairwell, and the lack of any party on the third floor were clear signs that something was amiss. The incident served as a stark reminder that one should always prioritize personal safety, even in seemingly routine situations. The mysterious events of that night lingered in my mind, leaving me with a heightened sense of caution during my future deliveries. I shared my experience with my coworkers, urging them to stay vigilant and trust their instincts when faced with unusual circumstances. In the end, these encounters shaped the way I approached my job and daily life. They taught me to listen to that gut feeling, no matter how seemingly small or insignificant, and to prioritize my safety above all else. The road, once a symbol of freedom and the routine of delivering pizzas, now carried an extra layer of caution and awareness but before he answered, sounding groggy from being woken up so early, I explained the situation, mentioning the unfamiliar truck parked outside the building. My dad advised me to stay cautious and not approach the vehicle. He told me to wait in my truck while he contacted the workers to confirm if any of them were on site that early. As I sat in my truck, anxiety gnawed at me. The silence around the old building felt eerie, and the unknown truck raised my suspicions. After what felt like an eternity, my dad called back and informed me that none of his workers were scheduled to be there until later that morning. The truck outside remained a mystery. My dad suggested calling the local authorities to report the suspicious vehicle. As I made the call, a sense of unease settled over me. The dispatcher assured me that they would send a patrol car to investigate. I decided to wait for the police from a safe distance, still inside my truck. Within a short time, a police car pulled up, its lights flashing in the darkness. 
the officers approached the mysterious truck cautiously, I observed from a distance, my heart pounding. They inspected the vehicle and eventually knocked on its windows, but there was no response. The tension escalated when the officers decided to open the doors. To my surprise, they found the truck empty. It seemed abandoned, adding another layer of mystery to the situation. The police took note of the vehicle's details and assured me that they would look into it further. Relieved that no immediate threat was present, I continued with my delivery to the job site, albeit with a heightened sense of caution. The incident left me with a lasting awareness of the potential risks that could arise, even during the early hours of a routine workday. First, my heart raced as I assessed the situation. Panicked, I grabbed my phone and called the police, describing the ongoing events and my location. The dispatcher assured me that help was on the way. With trepidation, I peered through my window to see the mysterious truck inching closer. Fear gnawed at me, wondering about the intentions of the person behind the wheel. My dad's words about staying cautious echoed in my mind. As the truck approached, I noticed its driver's side window lowering. A sense of dread washed over me. But to my surprise, it wasn't aggression that followed. Instead, a voice called out from the truck, apologizing profusely. The driver explained that they were lost and had mistakenly thought I was leading them somewhere. They claimed to be disoriented and genuinely had no malicious intent. Although their explanation seemed plausible, I remained wary, waiting for the police to arrive. When the patrol car pulled up, the officers swiftly assessed the situation. After separating both parties and conducting individual interviews, they concluded that it was indeed a case of mistaken identity. The person in the truck seemed genuinely lost and confused. While it was a relief that the situation didn't escalate further, the incident served as a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance, especially in unfamiliar or isolated situations. The police escorted the individual back on the right track, and I continued with my delivery, shaken but grateful that the encounter hadn't turned dangerous. From that day forward, my early morning deliveries became more than just routine tasks. They became exercises in caution and awareness. The mysterious events on that job site lingered in my memory, shaping the way I approached my work and emphasizing the significance of staying alert, even in the quiet hours before dawn thankful for the intervention of the other worker and the arrival of the police, the situation could have taken a much darker turn. The revelation about Samuel's involvement in the thefts shook the foundation of trust within my dad's construction business. The missing tools and materials amounted to a significant loss, not just in monetary value, but also in the breach of camaraderie among the workers. The subsequent investigation by the police led to Samuel's arrest. It turned out that he had been pilfering items over an extended period, taking advantage of the early morning deliveries and the relative solitude of the job sites. The incident that unfolded that night was his desperate attempt to cover his tracks, unwittingly drawing attention to his illicit activities. As the legal proceedings unfolded, it became evident that Samuel had been selling the stolen goods for personal gain. The impact on the business and its reputation was profound, requiring my dad to implement stricter security measures and reevaluate the hiring process. The incident served as a harsh lesson about the potential risks associated with early morning deliveries. Even in seemingly familiar environments, 
it underscored the importance of maintaining a secure work environment and staying vigilant against internal threats. In the aftermath, the construction business implemented tighter inventory control, increased security measures, and conducted thorough background checks on new hires. The experience, while challenging, ultimately reinforced the resilience of the business and its commitment to ensuring the safety and integrity of its operations. This series of events left a lasting impression on me, emphasizing the need for caution and vigilance in various aspects of life, particularly in situations that may initially appear routine or mundane. Sure, the realization that Samuel might have intended to harm me to prevent being caught added a chilling layer to the already distressing situation. It underscored the potential dangers that can lurk in unexpected places, even within the seemingly familiar context of a workplace. The fact that Samuel's identity remained elusive highlighted the challenges associated with tracking down individuals who operate under false names and credentials. The incident prompted my dad's business to tighten its security measures even further. Recognizing the need for enhanced vetting processes to ensure the safety of its employees. While the events that transpired that night were unsettling, I found solace in the knowledge that the police were actively investigating and taking the necessary steps to address the thefts and apprehend Samuel. The incident left me with a heightened awareness of personal safety and security, both in the workplace and in everyday life. As time passed, the construction business implemented ongoing improvements to its security protocols and employee screening processes, aiming to prevent similar incidents in the future. The experience served as a stark reminder that even routine tasks, such as early morning deliveries, can carry unexpected risks. And vigilance is paramount in safeguarding oneself and others from potential harm.